Hi everyone. Uh, my name is Riya Kamath. I'm a fashion editor at Vogue India. I was recently challenged by designer Reena Singh to style some of the key pieces from her new collection that she has done with Uniqlo. This is Uniqlo's second edition of the Kurta collection with Reena. It is a global launch and at Vogue we love Reena's aesthetic and her design sensibility. I have to say I had a great time um completing this challenge. So I'm actually going to get Reena onto this call so we can talk about sustainability, Uniqlo's lifewear philosophy and the entire collection. And we have Reena on the call. Hi Reena, how are you? I'm good, thank you Riya. How are you? I'm good. It's so good to have you here. So we are doing a video chat instead of meeting in exactly, person and exactly. talking about exactly. yeah. the best yeah. of of the situation. As you know, I was talking about your collection. This is your second launch for Uniqlo, which is incredible. Um but do you want to tell me a little bit about the collection your inspiration sort of the brand of Uniqlo and your brand and how those two came together because to me it seems like the perfect fit but i would love for you to tell people so yeah this is our second season together um we launched um the capsule kurta collection with autumn winter 19 uh at that time it was only for uh, seven countries and about 20 stores across the world and this collection is going across to i think 26 countries in the world so that was like a capsule test of how the kurta as a silhouette would be identified with the uh, the uniqlo audience right however thematically of course between a summer and a autumn winter we changed the palette we changed how we are coordinating the clothing and you know how we are looking at it what kind of prints what kind of textures and all that i love the color i'm wearing one today so As you can see this fuchsia is so perfect for the summer and I just love because on I love that yeah. about the collection. So Reena can you actually tell me about the inspiration behind your collection because I know your thoughts are very streamlined so I'd love to hear about it. Um I went back to rediscovering Amrita Shergill her work her personality for her times the way she was canvassing it in terms of the avogad frames and you know putting the subjects flat out there without too much of demonstration of motifs and ornamental style that india was known for also her color palette was like you know very distinct it was traditional and yet it was very modern and for uniqlo i just found her to be like a perfect muse in today's time thinking that you know if there was an artist who's living in today's time how would she carry the clothes around what kind of wardrobe can i build for her how am i borrowing the colors from her uh, artworks and things and stuff so it kind of became like you know she became a candidate for my uh, for the muse that i was building in my head so how was the challenge riya did you get the kurtas and did you style it in the different ways that you're going to show us i'm so excited to see actually what you've done with the kurtas no i did i got all your incredible kurtas and honestly it was so much fun to put them together and mix them with pieces from my wardrobe and i could also sort of reinvent the pieces and make them my own and that's what i love the most about it the kurta is such a democratic silhouette it's so versatile like it could be styled up or down depending on what your personality is it's such an individual fit in terms of whether you want to look at it as a global product or in a very conventional Absolutely. way So I think a lot can be done and that was the idea to kind of you know have your inputs on how you're going to put it together. Um I just love that it can be super versatile and you can reinvent it in ways that it's not necessarily been seen so far. So I think that's what I've done with the pieces that you sent me. So I hope you like it. So Riya the first kurta that uh, you would have received is the Dobby white kurta in cotton. Yes. So this particular one has a little bit more traditional element because it is a the textile is like really hand touched it's a slab cotton and then b it is with a yoke and a little pleats and kind of a detailing which is front open and it has side slits and all. For me what I love the most about it was that it was a basic classic white kurta and it also for me like reinvents into being a white shirt. So what I did is I actually opened up all the buttons at the bottom and sort of let that flare out. I put a belt around it to cinch in my waist which I love. I paired it with, you know, a pair of flared denim so it had that little bit of a 70s easy feel. And yeah, that was sort of the look for me. It was classic, it was minimal and it was super fun. There was just so much that I could do with that one piece. I'm sure if I spent more time on it, I could make a hundred more looks with that white piece that's the whole idea actually when we were designing this collection you know the only thing that i had in my mind was though of course the kurta comes from a very um, you know it's our uh, traditional uh, piece of garment uh, 
for indian clothing actually but i do feel that you know anyone can make it their own for me it's very important to have a wardrobe that's filled with key capsule pieces you know this one garment has so many different looks and avatars that it can offer and that's what makes it really special to me So Reena as you know a big topic of conversation at the moment and obviously over the last how many ever years has been sustainability but at the same time i know the whole concept of sustainability has been used very loosely um and i feel like there's no person better than you to sort of break this down for us and explain to us your philosophy of sustainability and what sustainability actually means it should be a lifestyle choice and you cannot really just think about sustainability in terms of how you make things and not consume it has to be applicable for all areas of consumption making as well as of even when you're throwing it out in the um, environment you have to think about the environment at that stage the other thing is that how it is designed that there has to be a meaningful timeless design element to it so that you don't feel like oh this buckle was so in last season and today i don't know what to do with it i have to trash the garment that kinds of a consumption is wrong so loosely very uh, comprehensible way of looking at sustainability is buy well made things buy good quality things make them last longest and as much as possible please don't trash them pass them on repurpose it with some for somebody else's yeah. outro that's what that's how i would like to sum it up the second garment that i'd sent out to you was that sleeveless little piece it yeah. looks really simple but you'll be amazed to know this is a fabric that is specifically developed by uniqlo vittore it's a rayon fabric which is a biodegradable uh, fabric again the speciality is that you don't need to iron it it's literally like wash and wear and it fits all kinds of body sizes so beautifully so i really wanted to see how you would make it fashion you know because it is so simple and elegant i just wanted to see what your take on it is going to be you know the moment i put it on i loved how it fell and sort of fit on my body the fabric was beautiful so i gave it a little uh, raffia belt which is something that i love at the moment uh, it kind of is a bit of holiday but it's not so it's my way of feeling like i'm on holiday even though i can't go anywhere and um, yeah just throwing on a cropped uh, jacket just gives that little bit of edge which i tend to do um and but still super minimal and super clean so i have to say this was this was one of my favorite looks and i also think that this kind of a look might really vibe with a lot of different kind of women i think women will find a lot of resonance in this sort of a you know how you've coordinated it like made it so classic and elegant and yet really uh leisure you know so yeah. i think it's kind of fun you know my style you know the aesthetic that i have i personally gravitate to things that are a little bit more minimalist my sensibility is like that i don't like to over style i don't like to over accessorize when i looked at your collection uh, whether it's the collection you've done for uniqlo or your personal collections i feel like that's something that you always think about um do you want to tell me a little bit about that so you know where people say that a philosophy is minimal or that uniqlo probably uh, is has a minimalistic style i would rather say that you know less is more is what they would probably believe in i just feel that you know if i'm doing a textile in a certain way then the garment should look really elegant and neat so just pick one element at a time obviously it has to be complicated design by no means i think can be a simplified pro- process you might see it as simple but in in the head while creating it you go through all kinds of emotional you know all kinds of um, you know metamorphosis in your head to kind of put it down and make it look neat whenever i wear anything that you have designed um there's something very whether it's the fabric that you know uh, feels great against your body and your skin or if it's uh, just the color palettes that you pick there's something very calming uh, about it and that is my idea of minim- minimalism right that is less is more because it's just how it makes you feel yeah exactly so rina the third look that i put together was actually a slightly more classic conventional take on the collection i honestly felt that there's something so simple and beautiful about ev- each piece that some of them didn't need a lot of styling uh, the garments spoke for themselves and the details were so strong that it didn't really need a lot so uh, for this look i've actually gone with one of your printed kurtas with um, the matching pant that goes with it and um, what i loved about it is that you know how we've been talking about quads being a really big trend or uh, making your you know getting dressed every morning super easy because you don't have to think about putting things together it comes in a set 
and um, i feel like the kurta and the pajama have been that for years so uh, that's kind of what my third look is about so for this i didn't want to overstyle it i didn't want to uh, fuss over it i just went with delicate gold jewelry to finish the look off if you're someone who prefers silver you can go with that you want to mix the metals please go ahead and do that um play around in the best way that you feel happy with so rena the first question we have is um someone's asking saying i'm really short what is the ideal length of kurtas i should be wearing i normally like to do 115 i'm not very tall myself uh but if you're short yeah. and petite then you can go even shorter and do with like you know like ria styled it with a belt probably at the waist i really don't know depends on your personal style great um can you share some tips on styling printed kurtas so I I know your collection has some of that. Um I think that you know the printed kurtas are really nice as monotones because there's already so much happening now this is my personal style again. If at all for a very casual day look I would probably wear like a big flare denim with a printed kurta so it makes it look like very you know like very summery very pastoral or very country you know things like that. So maybe but again uh, depends on how you'd like to wear it yeah. No for sure and I think like the last look that I did the kurta was printed and I'm paired it with a similar palette uh pajama to go with it uh the palazzo pants so i i mean it's the whole monotone look and that's lovely someone wants to know how can i style the kurta in a retro manner maybe ria you should answer that back in the 70s people used to wear kurta with jeans and i think that's something people still do yeah. um you know yeah. re- don't wear if you don't want to wear it with a pair of skinny jeans i would recommend wear it with like as flared jeans as you can find to give it a slightly uh retro touch i think the first look that i put together was um slightly a modern take on a retro look uh so that's according to me a good way to do it the next question is is there such a thing as the perfect fit for a kurta there's nothing like that <laughs> in short that's all there's nothing like a perfect fit i think see no matter what kind of a fit is a good fit i would still go for an entire fit and in certain fabrics i don't mind if they're closer like torre rion for example what i'm wearing right now it's still cl- cut closer but in the sense that i like that shape because the fabric is so easy breathable comfortable so well not a perfect fit for sure to each their own what is the ideal choice of fabric for kurtas given indian weather yeah i think cottons or linens or any kind of natural fibers ideally um we have a question from someone who's 18 years old uh the question is what style of kurta would suit me without making me look older than i am i think uh, you could do prints nicely since you're younger like maybe wear a denim jacket with it or you could wear like a belted kurta you could wear it as a dress instead and not wear like with a coordinated trouser or something so i think those kind of styles probably would work great for you yeah and i think like you said the 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 kurtas that could be worn as dresses i think that's lovely um i wore one of your kurtas as a dress and i belted it um even some of your printed pieces are so beautiful they're slightly shorter uh you can wear it uh you know i could i mean i imagine wearing that either as a cover up or over a pair of shorts or anything and it can be it it's your take on it So it was fun Ria to have this chat with you about the collection. I'm so glad that you have your uh, vogue take on it. I'm excited to see what your audience responds. I think uh, well the kurta is a piece for Uniqlo. It's a long way to go. This is the second edition now. We have to see what, you know, how the global audience is going to respond. Uh it is one unique export of indian clothing to the world and i want it to be like a mainstay for uniqlo for years to come in terms of uh, fabric developments and enhancements and innovations so i'm i'm glad that you've put your spin like the fashion spin on it uh look forward to what comes out of this i'm yeah i'm excited i'm so glad that the world gets to see our humble kurta and uh, sort of give their take on it so i can't wait to see people across the world style this in their own way and uh, enjoy something that's close to home for us